So I got asked today what I thought was a reasonable question from a new diver, and I thought we could discuss it and maybe address the same question that others might have and haven't asked. The question was, on a regulator, second stage, what does the plus minus pre-dive, dive, switch, the deflector vane, what does it do? And that would be the plus minus switch here. Uh, people call it the pre-dive and dive switch, however you want to refer to it. So the plus minus switch is intended to make breathing off of this second stage easier. And when this regulator is in your mouth and you put it in the plus position, the Venturi effect is going to assist with ease of breathing and it makes your dive more enjoyable and you use less energy. So what's happening here is you can push the purge button with it out of your mouth and it just purges. But if you put it in the plus position and this is out of your mouth, what you're going to get is a free flow. So you can stop that free flow simply with back pressure. And that's what happens when this is in your mouth. The back pressure is provided by your body and there's no uncontrollable free flow. It's simply a breathing assist. The issue becomes when you take this out of your mouth underwater, the habit that you need to develop is that either you put it in the minus position before you move it from the mouth, or you remember to turn it down so that you don't, by pressure effects, create that free flow underwater. Usually not a big deal even if you forget. You can just cover over the mouthpiece and the back pressure will shut off the, the air. But in cold water, which I dive a fair bit, if that happens and you don't get to it quickly enough, there is an outside chance in the unlikely event that you don't get to it soon enough that it will ice up and then that free flow will become unstoppable and you're going to drain your tank. So without going into how you might mitigate that circumstance, um, suffice it to say that if this is out of your mouth, let it be in the minus position, and if it's in your mouth, put it into the plus position by all means because it's there for ease of breathing. So what's happening in here is there is a deflector vein or cover which is covering the opening in the breathing tube. So as air comes out, even in the minus position, air can come out obviously and you can breathe just fine. But the airflow pattern within the second stage cannot create the vacuum effect which is assisting in your breathing or, and or creating that free flow effect. So when we put it into the plus position, we remove the cover from the breathing tube and now the airflow pattern within the second stage can develop that vacuum assist and if this is out of our mouth, creates that free flow. So that's the Venturi control knob, the plus minus switch, the dive pre-dive switch, whatever you want to call it. It is obviously the benefits outweigh the downside because this feature is pretty much universal on all balanced design second stages. And broadly speaking, there are two types. Obviously there, there are balanced second stages and then there are mechanical second stages. And even many of the high-end mechanical lever poppet style second stages will have a deflector vein to create the Venturi effect within them. So they're, they're not using it exactly the same as a balanced second stage, but they will have a deflector that creates that Venturi. So the plus minus switch is a fairly universal feature um, and it is a good feature provided that you use it properly and you remember if it's out of your mouth in the minus and when it's in your mouth in the plus.
Thanks a lot. Great question. Keep them coming. And I'll see you next time.